Module 3, Lesson 26. The objective is to divide multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000 by single-digit numbers. Let's start by looking at these two expressions. We have 8 divided by 2, and we also have 80 divided by 2. Let's first look at these two expressions using number disks. I've made some place value charts to model 8 divided by 2. Well, that's 8 and 8 ones. And if we're dividing by 2, then we would be dividing it into two groups. So 8 ones divided by 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Within each of those groups, we have four ones. So that eight ones divided by two does equal four ones. Now over here, when we're looking at 80 divided by two, we'd model what? Well, we'd model the eight tens first. After modeling the eight tens, how many groups would we have? Right. And much the same way, well, there's four here and there's four here. So we'll go one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Within each of those groups, there's now four tens. So we have eight tens. And when we divide eight tens, which is 80, divided by two, we would get four tens. Well, let's see. Our divisors were the same, and this was 8 1s, and this was 8 10s. Look what happens with those answers. We still have those numbers, 8, 8, 2, 2, 4, 4, except what those numbers are worth because of their place value changes. Here we have two more expressions. Oh, we have 900 divided by 3, and then we also have 9,000 divided by 3. So now we're working in the hundreds and also in the thousands. Let's see what happens. Let's model with disks first. We'll set up some place value charts. Well, this has 100 places, so we have to have a 1's place, the 10's place, and also the hundreds place. Let's start with 900 divided by 3 first. Well, same as before, we would model the number. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 hundreds. And then we're dividing by 3. So we'll make 3 groups here. And then we can go ahead and distribute these into those groups. 1, 2, and 3. 3, 6, 9. So within each of those groups is 3 hundreds. Is 3 hundreds. So we have 9, let's write out a number sentence here, 9 hundreds. When we divide 9 hundreds by 3, what do we get? We get 3 hundreds. 3 hundreds in standard form is written as 3, 0, 0. Could you do this one on your own? Pause the video while you do your work. We have a thousands place, hundreds, tens, ones. And if we look at this number, all we have is a nine in the thousands place. So first, you should have made nine disks to represent the nine thousands that are in that number. The other thing that I would have wanted you to do is to write a number sentence 
to show that division work. There's three, there's six, and there's nine. So that nine thousands divided by three is equal to three thousands. Read it with me again. Nine thousands divided by three equals three thousands. And so you would write that as three comma zero zero zero. Look over your work. As you see, these two expressions are very similar. We go 9 divided by 3, and the hundreds there stay the same, just as the thousands stay the same. When we divide thousands there, we still have thousands. Let's look at another type of problem. Here we have 350 divided by 5. Let's write this out within unit form. What's this 3 worth? Right, three hundreds. And what is the five worth? Hmm, five what? Five tens. So we have three hundreds, five tens, divided by five. That's one way we could write it. Now, if we were to try to divide this, it'd actually be easier if we had all tens. One hundred is equal to how many tens? How many tens are there in a hundred? Did you say 10? So we can actually rewrite this as 30 tens with 5 tens, which is how many tens? Right, 35 tens. Then if we have this expression, 35 tens divided by 5, we have 35 tens divided by 5 equaling what? Hmm. Well, 35 divided by 5 is what? 7. And we'd still have tens. So 35 tens divided by 5 is equal to 7 tens. And 7 tens is worth what? 70. Read this number sentence. 350 divided by 5 equals 70. So we made it worth 35 tens. So 35 tens divided by 5 is 7 tens. Can you see how this number is 35 tens? If you had used a place value chart to demonstrate 350 divided by 5, you first would have modeled the 300s and the 510s. After modeling the 300s and the 510s, we can't divide those 300s into those 5 groups, so we have to regroup them on over into the 10s place. That's why each of those 100s was worth 10 of those 10s. 10, 20, 30, and then with the original 5, you have 35 tens. Then we can go ahead and distribute them into those 5 groups that you have there. The thing that I don't like about this model is that they did not draw those lines back on over there to really show that there's 5 groups there. Lastly, when you look at this here, when you take this here, you'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens within each of those groups. And then so when you have seven tens within each of those groups, that's why you can say that the answer is seven tens, which does equal 70. So our place value chart really does show that 35 tens divided by 5 equals 7 tens, that 350 divided by 5 does equal 70. Okay, your turn to try. Here's 2,000 divided by 5. Use a place value chart. Pause the video while you do your work. So when we're working through this problem, you'd first have 2,000s. How many groups would you have? Right, 5. Now, when you are trying to divide that 5 into that 2 there with the 2,000s, you can't do it. So, what did you have to do? You had to regroup them. Each of those thousands is worth 10 hundreds. How many hundreds did you have then? Well, 
that's 10, 20. So really, you're taking 20 hundreds, and we're dividing it by 5. Do you know what you, what did you get? Did you get 4 hundreds? Let's finish the work in the place value chart to see what we did here. Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, when we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for that first row, that means we put and distributed 1 within each. Another 5. Another 1 for each. Same thing with that next row there. And same type of thing with that last row. So within each of those groups, we have distributed four hundreds. And four hundreds is written as what in standard form? It's worth what? Right, it does equal four hundred. So let's write that here as well. If you didn't write this down, or did not write down this, please get into the habit of doing so. Read this with me. 2,000 divided by 5 equals 400. So we have 20 hundreds divided by 5 equals 4 hundreds. You'll notice that you just don't copy over the zeros. What you have to do is that you really have to see what you're doing with those numbers, and you can use place value understanding to help you figure out the answer.